Hello everyone and welcome to day 4 of 12 days of BioPython, where I will post one video per day related to bioinformatics topics using BioPython until Christmas. I hope you will enjoy it and please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you still haven't to support this initiative. Today's topic is about running BLAST queries using BioPython, so let's get started! So BLAST stands for Basic Local Alignment Search Tool and enable us to compare our protein or nucleotide sequence with the library of sequences. We can use this to find the similar sequences. For example, if we discover an unknown gene in mouse, we can use BLAST to search against human genome to see if humans carry similar genes. BioPython provides bio.blast module to deal with NCBI BLAST operations. And in this video, we focus on how to run queries against the online version of BLAST. We use QBLAST function to call BLAST and we need to provide it the three non-optional parameters. The first argument is which BLAST program is going to be used for search. The possible options are BLAST-N, BLAST-P, BLAST-X, T-BLAST and T-BLAST-X. The second argument specifies the database to search against and the third one the query sequence. You can check the API description on this link here or you can use help function to give back all possible options and further description of QBLAST function. We are going to use QBLAST function to search with BLAST N program across nucleotide database and search for similar sequences as this sequence query here. The BLAST generates the output in XML format, so we need to somehow parse it. For these purposes, will we import NCBI XML from bio.blast and we will use parse function to return the result of this BLAST search. And we will use dot parse function to parse the result of this BLAST search. We can only go through the BLAST records once, so we may need to make sure to save it first. In this case, the BLAST record is not so big, so I'm going to save it into memory. But be f care careful, if your BLAST file is huge, you may run into memory problems trying to save them all in a list. We see that our BLAST record is actually a list representing only one BLAST record. So let's check what is actually in this BLAST record. We are going to spe specify the e-value threshold. The BLAST e-value is the number of expected hits of similar quality that could be found by just chance. So we are going to go to our BLAST records, and remember we only have one record, and we are going to go through all BLAST alignments. And we are going to check only the uh, alignments which are lower than our threshold. We are going to count how many of them are and we are going to print so the sequence, the length of the sequence and actual alignment. And we can see that in the end there are, f there are 50 similar sequences in the BLAST output. So this was just a basic introduction on how to use online BLAST. If you would like to know more about BLAST and usage in BioPython, you can check the chapter 7 of BioPython tutorial to learn more. As always, I will link this in the description below so you can easily access it. That was it for day 4 of 12 days of BioPython. Join me again tomorrow for the new video. See you then. Bye bye!